Hi, this is Logan from Logan'sRunThePodcast.com, and this is another one of my video tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at downloading, installing, and configuring Via Motion for use with TalkShoe. Via Motion is a free VOIP audio assistant program. What that means is that it allows you to incorporate sound clips, special effects, noises into your shows using TalkShoe. Now with Via Motion, you have a number of different purchase plans you can do, and it has a free trial program. The free trial program allows you to download and to use the first five clips in the Via Motion trial program. It also allows you to record for five minutes. Otherwise, there are purchase plans. And with the purchase plans, you have three basic plans. You have the basic edition, which allows you to do pretty much everything that you need to do for a talk shoe show. That price is $19.95. There's a standard edition for $29.95, which as you can see here, it adds a few more different options for you. And then you have the Advanced, or also known as the Gold Edition, for $39.95. All three are excellent versions. I, myself, I use the Basic for $19.95, because that's pretty much all I need to use for TalkShoe. Down at the bottom here are the downloadable links, and we're just going to use the download link here. Now, to download, you just do it like you would any other program. And I normally download things to my desktop, and I'm not actually going to download it, because I already have the file saved there on my desktop and it takes about two or three minutes to download but normally this is how I do it I would click Save and we would download but since we already have that done there this is the installation program right here for via motion now I'm not going to go through the full process when you go through it you come up with a user account control you can go ahead and OK that then you have your standard welcome to via motion I'm not going to go through the installation program because I already have the program installed but it takes you through it step by step. It's very easy to do. In under five minutes, you should be up and running with Via Motion. Once you have Via Motion running, we can open up here. Once you have Via Motion running, this is what it looks like. This is your basic Via Motion screen here, and you have a number of different buttons that you can incorporate. It comes with 35 pre installed clips, everywhere from a little happy birthday song to just some humorous jokes and stuff like that. I've taken all of those out because I really don't use them and I, I prefer not to have them on my via motion. Some of the buttons you have is you have this button up here which allows you to go and find different clips and install them into your shows. I normally in my podcasting file I keep a file with clips and here I just have all the different audio clips that I might want to use for via motion. You can also install full folders. You have a delete button. Now, here's one of the previously loaded clips here. I'm just going to delete that button out, delete that show out, and it's gone. You have a one here that when you highlight a show, you can move it up or down in your listing here. As you can see there, we're going to move that down to the bottom. We have this button here, and this is your volume for what people are actually hearing. You also have a microphone which is muted, and then you have a phone connection. These are some of the basic standard buttons for Via Motion. Now we're going to look at talking about how to actually configure it using XLite, which is a free SIP program that I have for use with TalkShoe. Via Motion is used with different SIP programs like SJ Phone, like XLite. It does not work if you're calling in using a landline or a cell phone number. So if you're using an SIP program, that's what you're going to use Via Motion with. But anyways, first you want to start with, you want to go into the tools, and we want to go down to options. This pulls up our option menu, and as you see here, the VOIP clients that are previously installed, we hit one for MSN Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, Skype, Google Talk, Tencent Double Q, AOL Messenger, ICQ, and then you have three customizable links here. This is what I use for XLite. And to use it with XLite for use with TalkShoe, you want to put a check mark there in the box for customizable. And then we want to type in, for both long name and short name, XLite. After that, you want to go down to the executable file. This is normally blank. And what you want to do is you want to hit the Browse button and then go find where you have the executable file, the, sh the shortcut for using with XLite. I keep a shortcut on my desktop. So you want to go down there and just click on that and find it there. Another place you can find it is by going into your computer, 
into the C drive, look up Program Files, go down to counterpath.com, xlight, and then just click on it there. But once you do that, then you would OK it out. It would tell you a message to options change. Any options change will take effect once you have restarted via motion. And we want to close that out. And it's just that simple. Once you're in a show, and whenever you're using XLite, you need to first start up via motion. Always start via motion first. One of these options I have checkmarked is that I always start via motion when Windows starts up. And we're going to close that out. And that way you can incorporate and use the different clips with it using with XLite. So always start the via motion first, then start your XLite program. But to give you an idea what this works and how this deals with, we're going to use a clip here and we're going to talk to our former president, George Bush. And I'm going to pull my headset away a little bit, hoping that you might be able to hear this clip. Everybody loves you and so do I. And that clip has been inserted into whatever show that I'm using. You can use it to insert different intros. I have four different intros I use with two of my shows. There's intros and outros. I host two main shows, and I can insert those in there so I can put them in weekly. I have a bunch of fun clips. It just helps improve the show. If I am ever running an encore show, I have an encore that I run quite a bit with an interview that I did with a celebrity. A lot of times if I want people to rehear that episode, I can just play that, step away from the computer, and the show will run itself. But that's the basics of using Via Motion. It's an excellent program. You have the free trial program, like I stated at the beginning of the show, that allowed you to use these first five clips. If you are using the free trial, you can take like a clip from the ninth, ninth slot and move it up into it. But just understand that you only have the first five open slots. If you go ahead and buy the, the full versions, you can do unlimited clips. As you see, I have right now 91 clips. Via Motion is a fun, useful tool for working with uh, XLite to uh, bring better shows up and bring more excitement into your shows on TalkShoe. Well, this is Logan. You can find all of my past video tu training tutorials at www.logansrunthepodcast.com and also on www.talkshoesupport.com. Well, until next time, you have a great day.